Welcome to the seventh video of Selenium WebDriver series. Uh, this series is brought over by H2K Infosys, which is placed out of Atlanta, Georgia, United States. Uh, H2K Infosys is into uh, live on site video based IT training on real time projects, job assistance, and technical support. Let us go and check out the environment in which the video will be conducted. The video will be conducted on Windows 10 Selenium 3.0.0 Beta 3 version, the 64 bit OS and 4 GB on our hard disk. And the topics that I'm going to cover for this particular video are the following the finding X paths to identify the web elements. So we're going to look at another locating strategy that is X path to find or identify the web elements and perform action on it. X path are nothing but the position of the object or the location of the object with respect to a web page. Then we will see what is an absolute and partial X path and we will see that which elements are used, which spying tools can be used rather to get an absolute of the partial X path. The spying elements are basically used to spy on the objects and based on that we use the locating strategies. Then we will see that if the absolute or the partial X paths thrown by the spying elements uh, do not locate a web element, then how do we create a customized X path without using, uh, you know, Firebug or the inspector element tools available with the browsers and then we will see another locating strategy that is CSS selector this locating strategy is also nothing but the location or the position of the web element with respect to a web page we will also see what is an absolute and a partial CSS selector then we will also see that which tools can be used to get the absolute of the partial selector uh, tools per se the inspect element tools or the firebug tool of firefox browser and in case the absolute or the partial CSS selector thrown by the inspect element tools and the firebug does not work how do we create our own or customized CSS selector to locate a element or other a web element and perform action on that and lastly, we'll see the performance of the CSS selector as compared to the XPath. So let us first find out and look at the topic finding XPath to identify web elements. So if we are using the locating strategy that is by XPath, we can use the inspect element tool of present in Chrome to find out the XPath. We can also use the Firebug to get the X path and we can also use the web driver element locator present in Firefox in order to get the X path. So practically we will see that how we we'll use these uh, inspect element tools and firebug to get the X paths. So I'll just open the concerned Firefox browser and uh, how do we get an X path so if we open a firebug and let's say I want to get the X path of this edit box so what I need to do is that first uh, choose firepath tab and then you can go and click on this element in the page to inspect and just hover your mouse over the edit box it comes with a blue border that means it is choosing that particular web element and click on that this will show you the X path of the particular edit box in this which I am highlighting right now this is one way of getting the X path if you see at this particular X path it doesn't start with the HTML tag 
if the export doesn't tag with the HTML tag that means it is a partial or a relative export and I have told earlier also that firebug always gives export by the ID attribute and we also see that the relative HTML script of that edit box gets highlighted in this particular position where I am hovering my mouse if you look at the HTML script highlighted, you will see that it has an ID attribute whose value is equal to search text. So that means if there is an ID attribute present in the HTML script, then Firepath of Firebug will show you the relative or the partial XPath, but that relative or the partial XPath will be by the ID attribute. okay this is one way of finding an xpath for a particular web element we can also get an xpath by just hovering over the html script highlighted right click and we'll see that we can copy the css selector or the xpath from here so since we are speaking about xpath we can copy the xpath and i can open the notepad out here I can paste it by control V. So this is the XPath that is getting copied from that HTML script of that element. Now apart from the firebug, I can also use the inspect element tool of Firefox browser in order to get the XPath. So what I need to do is right click. Let's say I want to get the XPath of this button. So I need to right click and choose inspect element okay and if i hover my mouse over the html script for that particular button uh, the highlighted point point position or the highlighted html script if we right click we will see that there is is there any way to get the xpath we don't see any way to get an xpath out here so strictly speaking we can use the firebug of firepath sorry the firepath of firebug rather to get the xpath from the firefox browser inspect element tool will not show me the xpath on the firefox browser but yes what I can do is that if I right click we will see the web element locator okay which has been installed as an add-in over the Firefox browser shows me the XPath of this particular web element what we need to do is right click and go to Java locators and these are nothing but the XPath that we can use for this particular web element I will close this inspect element right now because inspect element in Firefox doesn't get us the XPath so I'll right click again go to Java locators and this is nothing but the web, web element locator that is installed as an add-in of Firefox browser through which also you can get the XPath another way to get the XPath is by using the inspect element tool in Chrome browser so if we click on F12 the inspect element opens and let's say I want to get the XPath of this edit box what I need to do is use the select the element to inspect and just hover your mouse over the edit box out here the HTML script of that edit box gets highlighted the HTML script that is where I am hovering my mouse. You need to just right click over the HTML script, go to copy and copy the XPath. And what we can do is that since I have a notepad open, I can just copy the XPath out here of that edit box. Now, if you see the, edit, the 
X path comes by the ID locating strategy. That means the inspect element tool of Chrome also shows you the X path by the ID attribute of that particular web element. That means the HTML script has an ID whose value is LST hyphen IB by which the X path gets created. And this X path that is shown and highlighted out here is nothing but the X path of the edit box shown by Chrome's inspect element and the X path is created by the ID locating strategy. We can see that. So I'm going to close this. Don't save. And moving ahead, we can go and look at 